Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to create a save and loading system and this is the first part and in this we're going to create the save part of the uh, save and loading uh, system and in the next part we will create uh, the loading part and I will not explain how to actually save like the position or things like that but more like how to save a factory tree, how to save list, how to save a lot of stuff. So First you're going to do is create a new C# -sharp script and you're going to call it save and load. Open it up. And the first thing we're going to do, because we are going to use uh, a binary format, format or a directionary and uh, application and things like that. So for that, we are just going to uh, using system and using system.io. And also, we are going to use uh, using system dot runtime dot um, serialization dot formatter dot binary, and we are also going to use uh, for the list using system dot collections dot generic. And the first thing we are going to do is create a list and that's just just a test list and we're just going to make the list of all sort of ints and we are going to call it list one and it's a new list int also we are going to create another test variable and that's a public factor three and that's called xiz and that's a new factor three now we're going to first going to create uh, two new classes. The first one is um, the class where you actually going to put all your uh, data in, uh, so you can just save it easily. So system dot serial and then public class save data, and well, just for this moment we are going to create here um, a factor tree and a list and the list we can already create because it's not very special so just a list int and just call it list1 again and again this is just an example a new list int and we are also going to use a factor tree but the problem with factor tree is that you can't use it uh, you can save it just with a binary format just uh, without doing hard stuff so we also need to create a new class for it called uh, again system dot sorry saleable and you're going to create name it uh, like this so this just effect tree it will be exactly the same except you can just uh, serializable uh, it's just serializable and that makes it um, so you can actually well it's just it works exactly the same so just public float xiz and with that you are actually just uh, we're just going to uh, format that between those two between a factor tree and well this factor tree and just so we can save it so also for example you want to save a position just a public uh, factor tree we just created and call it position and to let it save, we're just going to create um, here a new void. And we are going to create name it public void save. So the first thing it will do is, because we are also going to create a, um, a folder called saves, just to make it a little bit more clear. And most games has, have that and just well, it makes it a lot more clear where the saves are and you can just organize it a lot better. So if, the first thing we're going to do is check if that directionary exists. And we are going to uh, save it always at, um, at the point where the game also is. So we just application.datapad, you just get your, uh, your folder and it will be 
plus because we're just going to uh, change it, uh, just add saves by it because we want to check if saves exist and not if that directional already exists because we already know that because we just built it. And if it, isn't, uh, if it doesn't exist, we are going to create it. So create directionary application dot datapad and it will be just add again uh, saves to it. Oh, I've got something here. The next thing we're going to do is create a new binary format because we need that to uh, actually create uh, the file or actually just, well, that's not perfectly true. Create, uh, add the variables of what you want in this file to that file. So it will be a new, um, it's a new binary format. And normally, if you want to save it, you create here like um, a new int called whatever and you save it. But you can do it because you get a lot of errors because you can't uh, with this class with this kind of factor. So we are going to create a private save data data. And I have to spell it correctly, of course, but now we are going to uh, create a new void and that's because just to make it a little bit easier to change it later on and just call it a public void um, save uh, of copy save data and it will just save all the data you want to be saved and I don't put it here just to make clear where it's standing and if you just want something else to be saved later on if you're uh, changing the system you can just do that also if you're making changes to what exactly is saved you need to delete the uh, file you create are creating here uh, you need to delete that first so if you change this class you need to delete that first because otherwise the loading part won't work so i will uh, um, give an example later on in the tutorial at the end of the part two or part three if I don't got enough time in part two. So here we first going to create a for each because we want to copy uh, the list. And with most lists, there are some exceptions, but most lists can't just say uh, the data. So this list is the same as that list. It just won't work. So the thing you're going to do is use an for each and an int e because that's uh, what kind of list it is. If this is a float, just change this to float. And in list one, because that's that list, and just copy it with data.list1.add it and add uh, this one, of course. And the first thing we're going to do, because you are using every time exactly the same, uh, data, so save data, you first need to erase everything on the data, so um, on the list, I mean, data.list and dot remove all. And that's just to make sure that uh, if you save it twice in one uh, one game period, otherwise you will, will already have a list and will just add uh, a lot more to it, so it won't work. And the thing we're now going to do is save the factor. But because you're going to use, if you are in a game uh, many times, the position or rotation or things like that, you're going to create a new public static public static um, sure, factor three, and that will be a factor three two. Well, the other factor tree we just created, and this is just this is just uh, a quick change. So we're just going to this just uh, avoid you're going to use just to uh, to quickly change uh, the kind of data it is actually, but you will just uh, have the same data, and I hope you understand that. But so 
the thing it will do, it will just create a new zero factor tree called this, and it is a new factor tree. And um, oh, let's do that. And you're just going to copy uh, every value of it. So that's not that hard. And just copy this two times more. Just change it a little bit. And change this one. Change this one. And change this one. And the last thing we're going to do, because we want uh, the factor uh, 3, just return the factor, um, I mean, return the this factor 3. So now you can just go to your uh, to here and the thing you're just going to do is data dot position uh, is going to be changed to factor 3 to the other set factor 3 and just that variable you want to change and that's this of course now you're going to change, come back to save and the first thing you're going to do is just uh, copy save data so just you get all the data you copy all the data and after that you're going to uh, to add it to the file so like this and just um, oh I've got one thing I already think why is it giving me an error but that's you also create a file stream um, because you need to create uh, the actual file so that's just here file.create so you can call this whatever you want to be so the first thing we're going to do is go to the place you want to have it so that's like application dot datapad and it's just exactly the same as uh, standing above but we're going to change it a little bit and uh, so first we're just in the correct folder now we're going to create the actual file and that's a uh, we're just going to call it like this and this is a data um, file so now you can actually just use this and the last thing you're going to do is close the file because otherwise uh, you will get weird errors and things like that so um, just um, we're just going to change this because this uh, is giving an error. So um, I will just come back later when I fix this error. Hello guys and welcome back. I just made a small mistake. It was clear. Remove all is just a little bit different command for other lists. But um, well, that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to create the loading part of it. And that's not that hard. Um, yeah, actually did most of it already. And I see you guys next week. And I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe or share it with your friends.